and Soldier Boy for allegedly stealing a song, Me and My Goons. And tell me you didn't get a clip with the actual song. <laughs> is, that, is that what we're doing here? <laughs> yes. <laughs> don't forget, yeah, calm down. Calm down. Calm down, Pippin. It. Calm down. You know, it's not, not. You can actually play it. It's real short, but not yet. So basically what's going on, Plies went from basically telling black women, you know, I, y'all can cry on my shoulder over there supporting Kamala Harris. To you the know, ne- the funny thing about my shoulder. What? A shoulder located on my. Oh, my God. He's arm. toxic. <laughs> <laughs> he toxic. Oh you my. never sell it in super bar, uh, no. super bad? I mean, of course. I he was mean, like, you know, you scratch my back, I'll scratch. Or she goes, yeah, you scratch our back, and we'll scratch yours. And it's funny thing about my back, <laughs> it's located on my. <laughs> oh my! It's almost funny as when uh, when they say, you know, what they say about people with big fe- with big feet, and you be like, what? You be like, big shoestrings. <laughs> Hold on, hold on. <laughs> that was trash. <laughs> Two thumbs down. You a hater? You a hater? So back to what I was saying, man. So Plies went from supporting uh, Kamala Harris, supporting black women, to as soon as Kamala Harris got smacked by Donald Trump, and he is our president. Um, he turned around and hit us with another slap in the face. He he's turned around and now he's suing Megan Thee Stallion, Gorilla, and Soldier Boy and Cardi B for the for stealing their song. So allegedly, what's going on? Who's this original song that we saw? So basically, the original song, the original song, this would none, none of this makes sense. The original song is done by Little Will, who made the song My Dougie. The My Dougie my, song my Dougie, came out in oh, uh, but yeah, it was made in '06, but they dropped the video in '07. Plies, the realest, my goons came out in 08 and then uh in 2010 soldier boy dropped pretty boy swag and you know like around this year earlier this year that's what i was listening to. that's what was hot in high school what pretty boy sophomore swag sophomore and junior year pretty boy swag was fire no not pretty boy swag but uh, uh, so also the boys uh the goons no soldier boy first came on the scene when i was in middle school mm-hmm. i think it might have been seventh grade when soldier boy came on came on the scene oh okay okay True. He was still big, I think. I think by like junior year, though, everyone was like off a of Soldier Boy. They're like, he's not, you know, how like some people like, like when they've been out for a while, they're like, oh, they're not cool anymore. And then mm-hmm. they come back and they get cool again. Yeah. It was like the, it was like the first time that happened. Cause that's happened like three times to Soldier Boy. It's great. Where he's like cool. And then they're like, oh, he's corny and they don't pay attention to him for a year or two. And then he has a couple hits. <laughs> True. Out of nowhere, oh, yeah, and then he goes back to like, oh, he's corny, and then he's like away for another. He, he like does it every two, three years. They start calling him corny, and he goes away, and then he comes back with a hit. Yeah, he, yeah, he. Uh, I've he, always support, uh, supported you, Soldier Boy. I never yeah, because he came out with the Soldier with Superman, Superman. Then he went cold. Everybody say he went cold. Then he did the Pretty Boy swag and all that stuff. Then he said he went cold. Then he dropped the, the about my he dropped the Ricky Morty song. Turn my swag on. Remember the Ricky Morty, the Ricky Took Morty song when TikTok came out. Here, they, uh, that blew him up again. But so back to the story. So what's going basically going on is here is that yes, everybody yeah, knows. Trick, yeah. All right, well, you, everybody knows that Little Will made the My Dougie song first. But Plies is saying no. That make, when Megan Thee Stallion made their song, they made the Wanna Be song. Me and Co- my co played the three versions. Well, matter of fact, we're gonna play the video right here. Play the video, then we're gonna come right back. Mm-mm. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't. <laughs> you think it's it? I'm telling you, it if ain't. You, I'm just gonna cut it out if it gets blocked. <laughs> I'm not. cutting it out. Be my ducky. Is that quick? No, really? See, is that quick? See, I got you. I got you, goes. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna sabotage this like that. Not yet. A couple, a couple clips later. Come to a quick stop. All right, well, so basically, for the record, Pretty Boy Swag is a remake of My Dougie as well. Soldier Boy is on the My Dougie remix. Me and my goons, literally not even the single for that Plies album. I need y'all to play these two beats back to back. Wanna be samples Me and my goons. Pretty Boy Swag is a little Will sample, but the two beats are not the same. He doesn't have a leg to stand on suing Soldier Boy, but Wanna be does. Uh, sample plies. I was there when they made the song. Hmm. I hear what I hear, and clearly plies hears it too. 
I'm sure you know the technical terms for this, but to note of that uh, beat changes on me and my goons at different time on my Dougie Pretty Boy Swag wannabe sounds exactly the same as me and my goons, not Pretty Boy Swag. True. So basically what she's saying is that, yes, it, it, they, are, they all came, my Dougie did come first, but and yes, they all come, basically all originate from my Dougie. They all have different tempos, and the tempo that Megan and Stallion and the Gorilla pick sounds exactly like the My Goons tempo. Yep. So that's what everybody's saying. This sounds exactly like My Goons. Yeah, they did make it, but you didn't copy that tempo. You copied his tempo. So that's what Plies, feel, Plies and his lawyer team feels like, hey, we can win this lawsuit. But I mean, I mean, we never know with the, with the music industry and and uh, how it's going. He may end up winning this just because it is almost what a two a decade, twenty years later since the song was made. It's almost been like twenty years. It was like oh six. It's almost it's like almost two thousand. It's almost two thousand twenty five. Exactly. <laughs> I think. Wonder how you feel. I don't feel like that at all. But I mean, it it is funny how this is going. I mean, you were around when uh, Morris. More staying the time were big. Horrible. But, I mean, it is funny how Soulja Boy hasn't said anything about this at all. Because he's always talking about everything. Check. We're going we're gonna to get in a Soldier Boy GTA 6 before the real GTA 6. Facts. Exactly. Check out the Soldier gaming system. Facts. Also, Megan Thee Stallion and Glorilla have not talked about this. And the fact that... Megan's they, got enough problems, man. She, she ain't looking to talk about you nothing You talked about that, we the fight that she had earlier. Now she's she punching getting, on people or getting punched. She's dealing with the Tory backlash. She's trying to work her way to, like, so people just notice her body instead of uh-huh. what's going on. Like... I mean, I blame it. I blame the whole sample the whole sample area we in like because you know everybody's making a sample like they just did the uh, the Boosie sample who uh, was sexy red and I think glow. Yeah, I mean, the thing that I I hate about samples now I feel like back in the day like in the nineties and two thousands that stuff was sampled, mm-hmm. but they literally sampled like a sound. They sampled a sound and like made it their own song. Like, you know, they didn't really, like, mimic, you know, how maybe the, the other person, and you know, the cadence of the flow and all that stuff that they, you know, made it their own. They just literally sampled a sound mm-hmm. on the uh, the track or the beat if, if, it, if it was a beat. But I feel like nowadays, like, when people sample, like, they're just sampling the, like, whole, like, parts of the real song. Basically. Like, though, some of them will even keep the chorus the same. <laughs> but it's like it's like a trap remix version. They keep the chorus the same, and then they rap on the open parts. Pretty much. And it's like, nah, dog. Like you're literally just putting that song out again, but we are rapping on it. You're True. just adding a rap part when, and I don't know. It's I don't. It's not as good. True, and I think I feel like that's how I feel like this ended up happening with Glorilla and Megan Thee Stallion. New, like New York Drill ruined it. True. I mean, I feel like this is what happened. Like they, they uh, I mean, they be doing like so many samples. Come on, like back to back. Some people making samples. They're like, yeah, all right, whatever. Like this person played another sample. Yeah, I heard this song before. It's this, and then they just rap on it. Then like they don't worry about it. The next thing you know, like it wasn't clear properly. Everybody gets sued, and you just so used to it's hearing a sample, like it- you don't worry about like before. Like somebody play a sample, like like if I gave you a sample beat back in the days. You wouldn't touch it because, like, you got to make sure, like, oh, yeah, I got to make sure it's clear because I, if I rip this song and it's amazing and it doesn't get clear, like, ain't nobody ever going to hear this song. It, it was like that in, like, the 90s. And then, like, but once in the 2000s, once the, really the Internet took off, what's crazy, what I always wondered about, okay, is, like, you know how back in the day, like, the labels had to push you so that way you can get the album sales. Yeah. And you had physical copies and, like, 50 cent and like other rappers figured out how to do it to become like huge artists but then we went into like the mixtape era so like the mixtapes were free yeah like that was like live mixtapes dat piff spin rilla everyone was using those and it's like how are they I always wondered like did the website pay them money or or what because you know they got like ten thousand stream or 10 million streams on uh live mixtapes but does mm-hmm. that mean anything Nah, I mean, and it's like, and then you realize that it was basically just like promotion mm-hmm. to get them shows, or and that's like, where they made it is like show money, yeah. So, if like you had a poppin' mixtape, you could book shows all summer, and that's where you really got your money. But like, it's crazy that there was like a whole era where people were basically doing it for free as promotion, yeah, because you had to, like, if you like, if a, if a record label shelled you, like, oh, yeah, you're not hot enough right now, like, you. Well, I'm not gonna put out no music for you. Like, what well, I'm sitting on all this music, I gotta do something. Like, and I'm gonna just throw this mixtape out. Like, forget what they're saying. Like, as long as the record label ain't paying for it. 
You know what's funny is like I actually remember when mixtapes were king. Uh huh. And that's my favorite time of, of rap, to be honest, is when mixtapes were the king of music because I feel like in. it was the most authentic. And it was like when labels had their hands off because even people that were signed to labels, mm-hmm. people would be more excited for their mixtape than their album. Because True. the album would drop, and they're like, oh, that's the one where they're going to have the feature with, like, Mariah Carey and, like, this. And it's, like, all, like, songs for radio. But, like, the mixtape is, like, the music that the actual artist actually wants to make. True. So, like, you know, Gucci would have, like, you know, songs come out, and he would have, like, famous singers on it. Mm-hmm. But on his mixtape, he's going hardcore with, you know, Trapaholics and, like, doing, like, real trap music, and that's what people love. And that's my favorite. That's honestly my favorite time of, of music is when the mixtapes were king. Because I remember you would have Spinrilla, mm-hmm. and they'd be like, did a couple albums drop? I'm like, oh, so-and-so dropped an album, but it's all the commercial stuff. No one cares. But we had 12 hot street mixtapes drop. True. You know, it's like, oh, Travis Porter drop. Waka Flocka drop. Roscoe Dash drop. Young Thug drop. OJ the Juice Man drop. A whole bunch of tapes. Yeah. True, and we had that, but then you know what happened. Then Why Juice, Lucci? But then Juice World came, and then he got sued, so they had to stop doing that. No, Juice World did that because he was actually Juice World was after the mixtape era. To be honest, he was kind of after that. But he put him on my. He didn't. He didn't get paid for. It. Remember that was his whole thing. He's like, well, I'm not getting paid for it, and he's like, well, technically you will because you're doing shows. So he got him. He got sued because of that. Remember, because Lucid Dreams and all that stuff, he didn't have it on the album. I thought I thought he had it on uh, streaming. <clears throat> he had it, it was streaming on like my mixtapes and all that stuff. Yeah, and he tore it off of it, and that's what he's, they tried to they sue him because he tore it off of it. Well, shoot, a lot of people left this open. I mean, Lil Wayne made a whole career where that's he was like, stealing me. people's songs. But you see, they didn't sue. I don't. I didn't hear anything about people. Oh, I mean, you probably did. I wasn't looking deep into it. You didn't hear anybody suing Lil Wayne. But at the same time, when Tory Lanez is making, I the mean, chick- everyone used to do it back then in the day, and when the mixtape era was king. True, but then like you, st- you, some rappers would literally put out like a regular mixtape, uh-huh. and then they would do like the Hot Beats Right Now mixtape. Exactly. See, but then you see like Jaquise and Tory Lanez doing the chick tapes, and they were making like people's songs, and them R and P people hate that. Like they were new edition, we running up on them, like don't touch my song. You know who I remember doing that like the earliest before anyone who. Drake and Trey songs. What it was doing? Other people's songs, but like singing on them. Oh yeah, yeah. They were yeah. making them like kind of like you know Johnny Mae Cash style. That's it. Yeah, I mean that's what they used to do back in the day. But I mean they're not they're not letting that slide anymore. I when mean, you were on when you would go to the MySpace links to listen, like oh, this is Trey songs. Like oh, you know this Rick Rock song? Trey songs is on it, and he's like rapping in some parts and singing. Oh in yeah, some parts. when he when he, yeah, yeah, when he did the whole, and then Chris Brown was doing the same thing too, rapping and singing. Yeah, on uh, other people's beats. On other people's beats. Trying to do it like that. But y'all comment down below. Do you feel like um, Megan Thee Stallion stole They Want to Be song from Plies, Soldier Boy, or did he steal it from the original song, Little Will, My Dougie? I mean, me and my co feel like it's from Plies. It sounds exactly my like Dougie. Plies. But y'all go listen to the three songs, then listen to Glorilla, and then y'all comment down below let us know. But 